and the historic and unprecedented mandate for Narendra Modi in these elections is an enigma and the backbone of the BJP victory appears to be the emphasis that the Prime Minister has laid on women's issues and women leaders during his administration. Many analysts have credited the Balakot airstrikes and the emphasis that the Prime Minister placed on national security with a muscular foreign policy for his stunning mandate. But what they seem to have overlooked is the fundamental ways in which the Prime Minister has changed the lives of rural and poor women. Take, for instance, the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan scheme, a simplistic policy but implementing that with determination resulted in the construction of a whopping 9.2 crore toilets across the length and breadth of India in a span of five years. With this, 5.5 lakh villages and 28 states in the country were declared open defecation free, a huge achievement. Prior to 2014, only about 40% of India had access to toilets. Besides the obvious health benefits, toilets constructed under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan changed the lives of rural women. The Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana, which provided rural women access to gas connections, is seen as another master stroke. According to the government estimates, over 7 crore rural households were provided with gas connections in a span of just 36 months. The deposit-free gas connections uh, were a godsend, taking them away from firewood, kerosene and cow dung and provided them with a clean fuel to cook food inside their homes. And the next one, of course, is all the more crucial, the Beti Bachao Beti Parhao was another of Narendra Modi's flagship programs, which specifically worked for women's welfare. Launched with an initial funding of 100 crore rupees, the scheme targeted the Hindi cluster states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Uttarakhand, Rajasthan, etc. Eradication of female feticide and girl-child education remained the focus. Even in his government, Narendra Modi made it a point to promote women of merit. Nirmala Sita Raman was elevated as the defense minister, making her the first woman defense minister of India. With this, Narendra Modi was seen to be breaking gender barriers and entrusting women with a portfolio which traditionally, for some reason in India, had been offered only to men. Although it also must also be pointed out here that Indira Gandhi, when she was the Prime Minister, had held a defence portfolio with herself for some time. Narendra Modi had also entrusted Sushma Swaraj with the Ministry of External Affairs with foreign policy forming a core part of Modi's agenda. Smriti Irani had been entrusted with the Ministry of Human Resource Development to name just a few other ministers who had been uh, ministries who had been led by women under Narendra Modi. The emphasis on women's empowerment was also reflected in Prime Minister Modi's choice of candidates for the 2019 elections. BJP fielded some 53 women candidates of which um, many have managed to win in the 17th Lok Sabha. A total of 78 women parliamentarians have been elected, making this the highest ever number of women parliamentarians in India in independent history.